Hi, it's Marissa from Mirabel Scrap. Today I'm going to do a video in English. I know I haven't been doing any videos in English lately, so for my English viewers, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> so what I'm going to show you today is um, a two accordion album. I don't know why I've been, uh, lately I have been into the accordion album um, mode. I have done quite a few lately, some for my Roses projects and some for swaps and some for just normal gifts, simple gifts. I think I like the accordion album because it's, it's simple and it's fast and it's it's actually quite functional. I like seeing it in maybe like a sitting room to show some photos. So I'm actually quite happy with the accordion album. So I have a friend in Holland who's just had a baby girl and I did an album for her. And she also has a boy, so I made an album for the boy also. So I will first show you the album, the boy album that I made. The papers of the boy album are all from Kane Company. I did buy the 360 paper pack from Kane Company, the two, the second one. I don't have the first one. And unfortunately, if I could find it with a good price, I would definitely buy it. But so far, I have the the second pack. The paper's a little bit thin, um, but with good cardstock and chipboard, they work perfectly well, and I really do like them. So for the cover, what I did was this little submarine. I cut it out from another another piece of paper because there are three three designs for the same of the same. There are three copies of the same design. So I cut this one out from another paper and I just stuck him on top of his copy back there. So that's popped up. And then basically the whole album has quite a lot of gears. I don't know what else to decorate the album with. So I thought the gears would be a good boyish um, decorated. So decoration. So what I did was I bought some gears from Fiona and she um, sent them to me all in white. It was perfect so I can paint them in and I used my uh, brushed corduroy walnut stain black suit and I used my one only uh, these are alcohol inks I've only got this one this is a copper and I used that somewhere around there oh, I think you can see that little rusty part here and there and over here so that's what I did with um, these little gears and the cover so opening the album up it's not an album made from envelope it's a long strip of cardstock I buy them by the meter, or over a meter and a half. I think they're all, I mean, a meter and a half by two meters. They come in little, they come in rolls. So I've got a long strip and I just cut out some um, big enough to make pockets so I can flip them over. So the front page has nothing, it's just the, the, the decorative paper, so it's for, an, for a nice big photo and a little gear here. This one I did, I painted it in my um, broken china and some. Walnut stain, and over the walnut stain, I did my my um, alcohol ink and copper, so it gives it a little rusty look. And on this page, just a little simple pocket with another gear. And basically, all the pages are just very simple, not not too much embellishment. And over here, I just got a little lion, a little button lion. And what I did on his mane, I just go, went over with my alcohol ink and copper, and also his tail. So that's a little coppery at back there. And then back here is another pocket. And this is a stamped image that Sharon gave me and she even colored him in and everything. Very cute. So I put him in the little corner and pocket. And on this side, another big space for a nice photo. These little robots and I stuck here. He's on dimensions, uh, dimensional. You can see there. And then back here, a little starry paper. Uh, some of the papers are not from Kane Company, for example. This one is not from Kane Company. This is a little, and this little lime on here. And this was, I have no idea what this paper was from. I know I got this paper from, which is either from Sharon or which is either from, uh, from, Lin from Linda. But I can't remember who gave me this paper. So I don't know what brand this paper is from. But anyway, got little pockets for a photo, maybe. And then the back cover is simple, got nothing but the bicycle paper. And then that opens up again for another section of photos. This one has a pocket. And then I put a little car here. He's on dimensionals too. And here I put a little rocket. He's also on dimensionals. Another paper. 
Here are the special photos with a pocket. And this time here I put a button, a little bear button. And another big space for photos. And up here I just put a submarine on top of a gear. And then we're back on the front page. So that's the boy album. For the girl album. The girl album is really girly. It's all nice and pink and flowery. And of course I use dime as flowers. As you all know, <laughs> I've used dime as flowers. So for the front cover, what I did, I just had this die cut piece that I got in the swap. And I distressed the edges with my colour box. And uh, this is the cranberry. Okay, so just to give, it, just to pop it up out of the um, pink background. And the iron roses flower that I used here, this is the um, the spray. And I just tucked the this part up, and I rolled it. I uh, rolled it from a pencil, so it's nice and wavy, as you can see there. Okay. And I just tucked that over the leaf. That's a pretty simple cover, and I think it's just enough. Let me show you can put the, the girl's name here, or a picture of the girl, the baby. Then opening this one up, on the front page, I have just a, um, a journaling spot. Maybe she can put the date of birth, how much she weighed, um, all those details that you need that you remember from birth. And then in the corner here, whoops, sorry about the light there, got a little teddy bear sticker, and a I Am Roses cherry blossom. On this page, a nice paper, nice page from, this paper is from Cane Company. All of it is from the, the Cane Company paper stuff. And here's a nice uh, space for a photograph. Again, I've here a little sticker from, look, these are those volume stickers. Um, it's just a little sticker that I bought here from a little um, stationery shop. And I just found a little pocket, and I put this die cut piece here, so maybe she could put a title or some journaling. And then an eye rose, a cherry blossom, a little sticker. Here, simple page, just with some little uh, little stickers, these little ducklings, and again, a little bear with some balloons. Next page, pocket, journaling spot or title, little sticker flower in green. And then here with the butterfly page, I've got some three cherry blossoms down there. Okay. And then on the back page, this. For this one, I decided to not not to keep the back simple. I decided to put another another title page here, maybe with maybe for another photo or some journaling. And of course, I'm Rose's petals uh, covering the all four corners. And then again, opening up the the recording album on this butterfly page, I just have some I'm Rose's. Oops, there we go, some a blue and a pink one. And again, that baby pram, the little bear and the baby pram sticker. Here on this page, this is a pocket. Okay. And I just stuck this die cut piece here for maybe journaling or title. And some of those sticker flowers. Here, title, this little title, it's popped up. So she can stick whatever photo will come in if she needs to use the back part. It's popped up. And then three little cherry blossoms. And then here, pocket page, the little teddy bear sticker with the, um, with the balloon. And then closes, and we are back on the front cover. So that's the little mini albums I made for the for my friend in Holland. I hope she likes them. They're very simple. I know they're not. Um, she's not very familiar with scrapbooking, so that's why I made the albums very very simple, not not too heavy on embellishments. Because I know sometimes we we do, we like doing our, our albums full of things, and we know what to do with them, but People not familiar with scrapbooking don't know what to do with all those things. So I did them very simple. And um, so that's what I came up with. So little, two more accordion, accordion albums. And um, I don't think I'm finished with the accordion albums yet. I'm quite enjoying them. <laughs> so I hope you like them. And um, see you later.